In today's video, we're going to be talking about glucagon and insulin. These are two hormones which are both secreted by the pancreas. So within the pancreas, there's a group of cells called the islets of Langhans, which contain alpha cells and beta cells. Glucagon is secreted by the alpha cells and insulin is secreted by the beta cells. They are both involved in the regulation of blood glucose levels. So glucagon, in cases of low blood glucose levels, stimulates the liver to break down stored glycogen into glucose in a process called glycogenolysis. It also promotes fats and amino acids to be converted into glucose in a process called gluconeogenesis. So to summarize, glucagon in cases of low blood glucose levels, also known as hypoglycemia, is responsible for increasing the amount of glucose in the blood by getting the liver to break down stored glycogen into glucose and stimulating the conversion of fats and amino acids into glucose to be used in cellular respiration. Insulin is the hormone responsible for transporting glucose from the bloodstream into the cells. So in cases of hyperglycemia or high levels of glucose in the blood, insulin is secreted by the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. Insulin is also responsible for converting the excess glucose in the blood into glycogen in the liver and muscles in a process called glycogenesis. Or insulin can convert the excess glucose into fats in a process called lipogenesis. So glucagon and insulin are the two hormones which try to balance blood sugar levels in the body. In cases of low blood glucose levels, glucagon is secreted and in cases of high blood glucose, insulin is secreted. The balance between the two hormones in regulating blood glucose levels is known as glucose homeostasis.